All right, guys. Just coming out and checking on the quail this morning. They're doing good. There's my eggs. Find out. This is my first set of eggs in there. Um, you know, uh, it's actually some of the first eggs they were laying, so uh, the more I'm, I'm uh, as the days go by and I'm listening to other people, I should probably sh should have waited. I wanted to show you guys what, uh, how I store my eggs, because um, I got some inside right now, and I'm going to collect them the rest of this week, and Friday will be uh, seven days of collecting, and I'm going to put them in my new uh, incubator that I made. And uh, you can see the video on that, um, uh, on the incubator uh, incubator build. And uh, but uh, um, I was always wondering, well, you know, what to do. So I see some people, they put them in the egg cartons and they keep them. So what I decided to do, I made this little uh, egg holder, um, and uh, I'm gonna take you inside and I'm gonna uh, show you uh, how I made it because I'm I'm gonna double the size of what I have and make a more permanent uh, little egg saver turner uh, for myself so just uh, stay tuned we'll be inside in a minute you can, I'll show you what I have in mind all right guys all right uh, I just wanted to maybe show you all something that uh, I've done uh, with my quail eggs uh, when I collect them um, right here, I show you right here. I don't know if you can see that really good or not, but what I do, I, I take, uh, I've taken the uh, egg cartons and I cut out this side, and you can uh, load them in here, and you, you can also put them in between, so you can actually fit. Uh, let's see, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, to five, to six, seven, eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one, two, three, four, to five, to six, seven, three, eight, three. You can fit thirty-nine eggs in one in, uh, when putting two cartons together. So I'm gonna show you how how I done that, and uh, cause I'm I have to make some more. I'm about to run out out of out of space, but uh, I use a little exacto uh, blade, exacto knife. And uh, first of all, I'll go ahead and separate separate this here. I've seen people, you know, uh, put them in the uh, in their egg cartons, you know. But it's like uh, if you really want the eggs to st stand up straight. Um, you can't really just do that because uh, when I was putting them in there, they, they falling, they laying on their side and everything. So, um, you know, I don't know how precise we need to really be with it, but I, I want to try to get a good hatch rate out of my eggs. So I'm, I want to do all the things possible to help that happen. So there you go, you have that, you cut this other one. And I and I use these uh, to to uh, you know to turn the eggs. So don't throw them away, keep your ends. That's my wife in the background humming. Oh, I didn't know you <laughs> <laughs> oh, he picks everything up, believe me. <laughs> what they say about people that hum? I know. That they're happy. <laughs> happy people hum. Happy people whistle. So you go ahead and cut the tops out like that. And uh, I know about how big to make them now, 
to sit, sit them in. When I first, the first time I did it, I made the holes too small. I had to go back and make them bigger. Um, but the, the smaller eggs that would maybe might go through, a, you know, you can put just put them in the middle. <clears throat> put them in the middle sections, you know. But um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get all this done. And I'm going to show you uh, what I do. You need some uh, tape, some scotch tape. And um, I, I used a big thick, <clears throat> I guess that's two inches thick. Um, it's a heavy duty tape. And you can take, uh, take your egg and check every hole, make sure it's going to sit in there pretty good. And it, and it is. Guys, I got them cut them out now. And I'm going to tape them up. You know, add as much tape as you need to to make it stay together good. And there you have it. Nice little thing to hold your eggs in, and it's going to look like this. When you put your eggs in it, and like I said, save your ends here for transferring, for turning. All right. So now I'm thinking that I might extend this thing and put it all on a piece of cordboard so I might put them all together okay so I cut me a piece of cordboard off a box uh, actually it was the box that my uh, my egg turner came in so let me go ahead and put all this on here and draw me <coughs> excuse me Out. And I'm thinking I don't want to make it bigger, I want to make it the same size. So when I tape it, I can wrap my tape around the edges. start taping it down. I'm going to make me another one of these because this one, my original one, uh, I had to cut the sides out on it uh, to fit it into this little incubator I had made, an indoor one that uh, I got rid of. Um, so um, as far as them fitting together, it don't because the ends are all uh, cut out. So I'm going to make another, another set of these.
Okay, here I am with my uh, coil egg holder or whatever you want to call it in here because you can put them here you can put them in here got it so some of your holes might be bigger than others you can choose the holes where you want to put your eggs because some of your eggs could be smaller I'll put some up in here. I'm going to fill up my middle, that way I'll work from the middle out as I get eggs and I'm not reaching in here. Well, there you have it. There you have it. So you can put them in the hole and you can put them in between here. So you can fit 83 eggs on this. This is using four egg cartons. And save your, save your ends for raising it up for, for turning. So there you have it. Okay guys, there you have it. I hope that'll help some of y'all out. Um, but anyway, See you on the next video. Y'all guys be blessed.